This is our campsite at a Winyu Creek. Far out. Pretty sick. Just put it on me Phantom. We're gonna go fishing. Oh, so how long's that taking us back? Uh, an hour. An hour? Yep. All right, so we've just come across Warley Road, which is not far from cathedrals on um, the eastern side of the island, the surf side. And we've come to a place called Winya Creek. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, it's like the drive, it's not a tough drive, it just no. takes you a while. It's like yeah. it's, it was I didn't get car six. So that's 16 from the turn off, but uh, one tip, and we got told this beforehand, make sure you try and hit, if you want to come and camp here, hit it on low tide because I'm going to show you now, you're going to go across a creek. So if you hit this at high tide, then you're probably going to really struggle. So anyway, we're just going through it now. Not much water in here, but a big high tide. And I reckon you might struggle getting through, but check this out once we come up over the hill here. Oh my god. Shut the front door. Hey, look oh at my that. God. That is just insane. That actually looks like a bell dives or something. Wow. And you're literally allowed to just camp on the beach here. Yeah. So we'll set up, we'll find a spot on the beach. Oh my god, this is and we'll so show you what this is all about. Fire out. This is our campsite at a Winya Creek. Far out, mate. Well, I thought the thumble was bloody good. You should check this place out. So, set up here like this. Pretty cool, I know. If you look over the back here, which I'll show you a bit of footage of, there's like a Winya Creek, which is a freshwater creek that runs in from out of the hills up here somewhere. Comes out and comes out the beachfront here. And then you turn around here and look what we got. We're actually camping on the beach, absolute beachfront. It's on the western side of Fraser, so most of the wind comes over the top here. You've got flat water out the front there. It's just perfect for kids. Fresh water one side, salt water the other. There's another campsite a bit further down, which is pretty popular. Hey, this is specky, eh? Hey? So we're gonna spend a few nights here. Like I said, I didn't think we'd beat with Thumba and Sandy Cape, but it just keeps getting better. I win your creek. You're at the top of the list, mate, hey? Far out. Out. It's called a Sky Rigger by Sea Elsa. Just put it on me Phantom. We're going to go fishing. All we got to do, put our line in here, clamp it up. I can fly it out. Control for tuna, marlin, mackerel, whatever. Or can get to where I want to go, yank on the rod, and she'll drop the bait out. So pretty cool for us now. We'll take this on our travels. There's been heaps of times where we've been cruising around and we can see fish that are just too far away to hit with a cast. Not anymore. I'll get the missus on the rod fly this bad boy out there and I'll get one of these young I'm excited. Hey, I'll get one of the young kids onto the rod. Oh dad, It'll can you get my son? Let's do it. Now. I want to see that bait. Yeah. So there we go, it's holding that up now, Garmin. Got the rod on free crew. I'm just gonna take him out. How good is that? Yeah. <laughs> I should just be able to pull this. And there we go, got the bait in the water. Good beauty. <laughs> How easy is that? Just need a fish now. Yeah. <laughs> How good's that? So that's our first bait drop with the sky rigger. Couldn't see any action out there, so we just dropped it out the back, about 140 metres, and then just put the uh, reel on free spool. And look at that, little shark, eh? You never know what you're going to catch. So hopefully next time it's a mackerel or a tuna or a big tailor or something. But anyway, it could be a fun, eh? You could never cast that far with a beach rod. That's <laughs> a shark in my trailer! So I'm a bit sad this morning, eh? This is our last day on Fraser. We've spent the last few nights in this epic 
paradise, if you'd want to call it, called Awinya Creek. And uh, we have to go home today. So I'm keen for a shower, but... Yeah, I'm keen to get out of shower too. <laughs> Tell you what, sleeping in double swag with this thing is a bit on the nose, eh? <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, I hope you got some good info out of this. Like, all we've got to do today is head back down towards Kingfisher Bay, get the ferry back to River Heads in Harvey Bay, and that's our trip done. But we've shown you a few ways to do it, so... Uh, what have we done? We stayed at Yurong Resort, so we showed you that. A uh, great place to base yourself and explore if you don't have camping gearing and um, your own self-sustained sort of setup. And then we've double swagged it around the island to some of the more remote locations, especially up the Sandy Cape and on this western side here. They are just dead set beautiful, so, oh mate. And I don't know what to say, Fraser has just blown our minds. It has been so good, hasn't it, Beck? Absolutely stunning stunning place oh, mate. the most pure white sand amazing beaches fantastic water temp Ugh. so anyway come i'll just show you our last setup come through for a walk through here and spin around this is what we're camped on so we get to look at this every morning or all day and then we spin around got the double swags over here these are arb skydome double swags they've been dead set we've done a few trips away from the van and these have been by far the best option like heaps, easy to, heaps easy to set up with yeah. three kids and plenty of room the kids have slept yeah. in one we've slept in the other it's been awesome mate we're warm we're comfy yep. you know you get good sleep so everyone's happy throw them on the roof good thing yeah and then car set up with the awning and a couple of chairs out that's us how simple is that you can live like this it's just insane mate simple so, is easy oh mate if you want um, to find out more info, you can get on our website, tripinavan.com.au, and you'll find heaps of info from our travels over our last three years. Beck does a lot of work on that, writing some cool stuff with tips <laughs> for kids and that. And um, you can also find us on social media, tripinavan at uh, Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to hit us up with any questions, we always get back to you. So find us there. And our YouTube channel is Kicking Goals too, so where you'll find heaps, lot, heaps of longer, more informative episodes like this one. Make sure you check out that that and subscribe and uh, you won't miss a thing. So massive thanks to our major partners. We've got a few on board. So Mazda Australia, Legends, we've got ARB, we've got Jergens Caravans, Caravan RV Camping and Camplify. So thanks to those guys. They keep us on the road and we can keep coming to these amazing destinations, living this cool lifestyle and uh, making some epic vids along the way. So And good um, information for you guys too. Definitely. Yeah. So... Anyway, that's Fraser Island. Hope you enjoyed it. I know we did, so check it out for your next holiday. Cheers. Mm -hmm.